Welcome back YouTube. My name is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, I would like to talk about something called scope. And scope, you might know scope from video games where, well, from shooters, you can use a scope in order to see further. And that's the thing with scope and programming. It's not the same thing. It's a bit different, but it's very similar because in the end, a scope is used in order to see something. And in our case, scope is what we can see and what we cannot see. Or better said, what our method can see and what our method cannot see, or our program in general. So let's create a variable called, or maybe let's call it string. Can you see me? And that one is called yes, you can, or actually the string it contains is yes, you can. So the point here is that this variable is a global variable which means that this variable can be used in any method within my class. So if I, for example, debug.log, can you see me? Then I will simply get the result, yes, you can, or yeah, yes, you can. I'll simply get the result, yes, you can. So let's have a look. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And we can see, yes, you can. Of course you can. I mean, this variable is global. It's no problem. So now let's have a look if I create a method. Let's call it var method because it just contains a variable. So now I'm going to create a different variable. Can you see me now? And that well one is, I guess you can. Okay, so now we have this variable, it's called, can you see me now? And well, it's, we get a warning here because this variable is never used. So if we try to debug log, can you, can you see me now? Let's just copy this variable name here. We will get an error. Why is that? Why do we get an error? And if we look at it here, it says, does not exist in the current context. And what is the current context? Well, the current context is this method here and every variable that is built outside or that is created outside of any other method. So that means that this one here is built out or created outside of any method. It's just at the top of our class. This one here, however, is created in our var method method. So it can only be seen by var method. So in here I get this error. I don't know this variable. If I copy it or if I drag it to this piece of code into my var method, now I don't get the error anymore because now this var method, well, it knows this variable. The start method doesn't and neither does any other method because this variable here is a local variable and it can only be seen in the method where it's created local variable and this one is a global variable now what you could do can you see me is here a global variable you could create a can you see me variable in here called sure or with the context sure and now can you see me will be this one here. It won't be not this one. To make sure, let's check it out. Let's go to Unity and let's run the code again. And we can see the only thing that is given to us is sure. And that's because this is the variable, can you see me? Now we get a warning here. It says heights field. Well, local variable, can you see me? Heights field, can you see me? So this local variable here, hides this global variable that we have here and as you can see it's assigned but its value is never used so that's something that you can do sometimes it is a intended behavior very often it can happen that you forget that a variable is only local and you cannot use it outside okay so just for you real quick what a global and a local variable is what the scope is which means for this method here, our can you see me now is not in scope. For a start method, our can you see me now is not in scope. 
can you see me is in scope for our start method and it is in scope for our var method because it's global it's a global variable accessible from the whole class now if you have this situation as you can see here where you create a local variable which says can you see me and you still want to access the global variable what you can do is you can say this dot can you see me what that will do is it will say I want to use the global variable not the local one I want to use the one that is assigned globally to my class to my new behavior script class so now let's check the, the code out again let's run it and we get the result yes you can because this this here <laughs> this this is telling us that we use the global variable. It's telling our compiler that we want to use the global variable and not the local one. All right, so let's have a look at the comparison. So let's run this and let's run it without this. So now we will get yes, you can, and then we'll get sure. So let's run it. And we get yes you can and then we get sure so that's the difference between a global and a local variable and that's the information about scope that i wanted to share with you great so now that you know that let's go ahead with the next video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please leave a like and if you have any questions or suggestions then leave a comment and of course don't forget to subscribe and by the way, if you really love the content and you would like to have more of it or pretty much all of it, then of course, check out the link in the description to my whole course. See you in the next video. We'll grow in number.